Hi, I'm Keith and I'm a volunteer at the Brobert Public Library. Today I'd like to give you a little short review of the latest book I've read called The Lost Causes of Bleak Creek by Rhett McLaughlin and Link Neal. Now, I'll be honest with you, I do judge a book by its cover, and when I saw this on the shelf, I said, that looks pretty neat, with the blue bubbles and everything. And my daughter saw me looking at it, and she said, Dad, I read that book, you've got to read it, I think you'd like it. So I took her advice, and I did, and I was pleasantly surprised. I really did enjoy this book. It basically takes place in the 90s and follows the adventures of three young teenagers during their summer before they go to high school, filming a scary movie on their own and getting into trouble. Well, come to find out this town has secrets that nobody likes to talk about. The biggest secret is there is a reform school away from the town that has mysteriously had three things happen over the past years that nobody likes to talk about. Basically, people have gone missing or there were strange murders that, that got explained off in strange ways that were, didn't really make a lot of sense. Well, everything was okay until the kids get into trouble filming their movie and one of the three gets sent to the infamous reform school. Well, then the trouble happens. The two remaining members, two boys, looking for the little girl who gets taken, run into all kinds of issues and find out that this reform school is not really what it seems. There's strange things going on and an investigation of their own ensues in the dark of night. Well, they do end up getting some help from a few adults who are not local town people because the local town people don't want to talk about this. It's like it's a no-no and this is things don't happen you shouldn't even be sticking your nose in. But some outsiders get involved and the story gets thicker. So I'm kind of, it, I want to give it away because it's a very good story and it wasn't really what I expected at first. I thought it'd be more of a uh, definite fact kind of thing when I got done reading them and say, oh yeah, this is what happened here, this is what caused this, but it isn't like that. It actually takes a turn for a different direction than I thought. It sort of gives me the, it's sort of like a Stephen King kind of story or maybe a Dean Koontz with some supernatural kind of vibes to it, which at first I wasn't sure I'd like, but it was really very good. The best part was the ending, because the ending sort of leaves you like, whoa, I was like, this would be a good movie, the way it ended. You're like, oh, that's it. It was abrupt, but really kind of scary. Kind of leaves you like hanging. Um, the story was funny. Um, the interaction between the kids is great and the adults, and some of the things that they say in their heads that are not written down when they're actually talking uh, is really funny. Um, like I said, it's back, it takes place in the 90s, but it also has a vibe of like the show Stranger Things, you know, with the th where the kids are getting into trouble and finding supernatural things in their town. It's very much like that. So if you like Stranger Things, you would like this kind of story. It kind of falls along that same guidelines. Um, like I said, it's like a Stephen King or a Dean's Kunk. If you like those kind of authors, I think you'd like this. It's a quick read. Um, and like I said, at the end, it surprised me the way it turned. It was Creepy, scary, it's a fast read, and uh, it was. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, even though it's characterized in the adult section, uh, young teens would like this. It's not a problem with anybody, a young teen, reading this book. It's perfectly okay, and it's a good, scary book to read. So, um, based on that, I, I'm glad my daughter recommended it. I might not have picked it up if I'd have known what it was about ahead of time toward the end, but I'm glad she didn't tell me. And you really can't tell from the book jacket, even reading the inside, so that's why it's like it took me by surprise. But it was very good. I'm glad she did. I enjoyed it a lot, and I think you'd like it too. So if you get a chance and this is available, please check it out, because I think you would like it a lot. So thanks for listening.